Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the previous videos on pivot table and pivot table being very important as we witnessed. I have included one more extra case study. This would further enhance our understanding of our pivot table and its applications. So to begin with, I have a data which is taken from a manufacturing concern, hypothetical. And uh, the data says, as on 31st March 2012, these are the stock items that exist in my godown that has uh, come from various uh, manufacturing plants of the company. So Jamshedpur, Durgapur and Haldia, all the three cities of eastern part of India. Now in my godown exists various material types which has also been given. And it's been also told which date it was purchased from these plants, what quantity and what is the book value with which it was purchased. Now this data starts from 2006, 2nd April 2006 till 20th March 2012. So all these stock items which remained unsold now has been shown in this report. Now from these raw data, I need to extract some reports, MIS reports, the sample of which let me show it to you in the next sheet. So I want a quick report which says plant wise, material wise, what is the total quantity? So for example, material type ARB, which was bought from the Durgapur plant is now 44,506 in quantity units and the respective book value is such. Now the same ERB was also purchased from Jamshedpur plant, same product but from different manufacturing units. Now in terms of stock quantity, it is in number 97,851 and that's the book value. So combining all the three plants, the different material types and the quantity total along with the book value total, that is a report number one I would want to generate. Report number two, I would also want to have a quick overview in terms of years, for example, in 2006, there were 25 items that remain unsold and till date it still remains so. So in my go down, there also exists one item of RXT which was purchased from Durgapur in the year 2011 and that remains unsold. So this is a picture from the point of view of different years, different plants different material items and the sum of quantity it doesn't talk about the book value but just the physical units. Another report. Now this report tells me year wise, year wise in terms of value of the stock items that still remain unsold in my go down. What is the percentage calculation? For example, if 100% is the uh, representing the value book value of the stock items unsold in the go down. Uh, you will notice 17% of them were purchased in 2012, 25% of them were purchased in 2011, uh, almost 28% were purchased in 2009. So not many items are left from the purchases made in 2007. And this also gives an overview, the bifurcation between the different items. If you want, you can also choose the plant and uh, make this report much more concise or customized based on the plants from which they were purchased. So these are the kind of report we are going to start off with. Let me begin with the report number one, which says plant wise, material type wise, quantity sum, book value sum. So let me go back to the raw data. This is where we begin our story. So as usual, let me choose the entire set of data. I can press control A. Alternatively, I can place my cursor on the starting point, pressing shift control, right arrow key and down arrow key one at a time. We can select the entire data block. The next stop is to go to insert, choose pivot table, mm -hmm. pivot table chosen. Now, as usual, we'll be asked whether the data I have chosen is correct. So I say yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. From the previous video, remember that one quick setting that can help prepare our reports much better that is right click on any part of the grid area, pivot table options, within which let me go to display tab and let me check on the classic pivot table layout option. So this was the main action area that we discussed in the previous videos when we were speaking about the payroll case study. Now if I want, 
the plant names to exist so let me put the plant name in the row field now this is not the final answer because i would want the material type as well so just taking a quick look at the sample report i want the plant i want the material type along with it so if i put the material type on the column fields it's going to give me a 2 by 2 grid alternatively let me check off the material type and put that in the row fields just after this plant lists if i put that in you will notice plant wise material type now i just need to put two things in the main action area one is the quantity to get me the quantity sum of quantity and let me also put in the book value in the main action area so that the quantity and the book value are looking at simultaneously so uh, so that i can compare if i want to make it much more uh, appealing in looks let me go to view remove the grid lines let me press control a let me go to home and let me choose my choice of font which in this case is calibri if i want to put the comma separators let me choose all the numbers let me go to home and put comma style let me reduce the decimals if i want to highlight all the rows which are showing durgapur total in a gray let's say different color now the trick is as you place your cursor just on top of the durgapur you'll notice this different icon coming in the moment i click on that notice all the headings have been chosen now if i go to home tab and color it let's say green you will notice all the subtotals have been turned in green so now i have a full mis report ready which says plant wise material type wise quantity total and book value total so this was report number 1 so do practice take a pause on the video and do practice on the case study file that you can download because after this i will be talking about sample report 2 which mentions plant which mentions the material type horizontally and also mentions the year year in which the particular stock item was purchased so let me go back to pivot table let me check off all the items i'll begin from scratch now in this case i can definitely put the plant in the row field just like i did last time but since i want years and years can be derived from the date purchased column so let me drag and drop it not before the plant if you notice the slight cursor sign you put it just after the plant but make sure it is in the row fields area not in the main action area so let me put it out here anywhere in this particular line all right but this gives me the date i don't want date i want them to be grouped in years so as usual comparing from the last video from the payroll case study right click on the date purchased yes you guessed it correct let me go to group and since i only want years let me check off months and choose years instead okay so now i have plant i have the year purchase now i also need the information for the material type so let me drag it and put it on top of column fields so my grid is ready it's a shell report i need to fill in the numbers numbers which shows me quantity of stock so let me put the quantity inside the main action area mm hmm and if you want to beautify it let me put my cursor on the durga durgapur total if you notice a change in cursor sign that there is where exactly i select the cell go to home fill color and perhaps give it in a bright orange this time report ready so for example there is still one quantity of rxt item left which was purchased in the year 2011 from the particular plant durgapur nine items still left in my godown which was purchased in 2007 from hallia plant and the material type is tam so this is report number 2 let me go to report number 3 all right so so since this talks about year wise material type wise and plant wise percentage percentage of what book value of the stock in go down so let me go back to pivot table let me check off all the items 
Now if I just want the years, let me go to date purchased. So since we grouped it only years, it automatically shows me years. If I want the material type in the column fields, that also exists. If I want to have an additional filter based on plant, I can put the plant in the main page fields area, which will allow us to choose from which particular plants production I want to generate the report. Now the last but not the least is you put in the book value in the main action area. But hey, this doesn't give you the percentage. Although this in itself is also standalone report, but I wanted the percentage. Now for percentage, as we recollect from the previous videos, let me double click on this heading sum of book value. I don't want average count sum. I simply want to go to show values as show values as what percentage of total. Okay. So this gives me the full scenario. You could have also chosen percentage of column, percentage of row to give you different types of report. For example, if you say percentage of row, it assumes that in 2006, whatever items I am still left with, consider that to be hundred percent. And uh, how are they placed across the different material types? So 90%, over 90% of the book value is concentrated in TM when we talk about the year 2006. So those were the different reports that you generated with the stock items. This will be very useful for manufacturing concerns for auditors who regularly do uh, work on such kind of data. So do practice pivot table, wonderful, wonderful technique. See you in the next video.